Hello everybody. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to print shipping labels directly from your standard desktop printer. Um, this also works for portable printers as well. Any printer that will connect to your Wi-Fi or by Bluetooth. You can print from your cell phone, your iPad, your laptop, or even a desktop for that matter. <clears throat> um, we do our shipping labels. I run a Rugged Rhinestone Accessories which is a independent consultant for paparazzi accessories. This is how I ship all of my merchandise as it's, as I <clears throat> fill out the orders and I am packaging, I package them and this is how I ship. It costs me less than half of what it would cost me if I went to my local post office and shipped these items. Um, I use a website called pirateship.com. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use, very easy to navigate. So I highly recommend Pirate Ship. They also save your contacts. So when you go in and create a shipping label for the first time, you create a customer and they save their name, the, you know, the address, everything. You type it in, it automatically puts it in. So to get started, basically you'll pick up, this is the cheapest printer that Walmart sells. So I, I'm using it for the display because new consultants that are starting out, you know, you're on a budget for one you're looking to run your business and start your business as affordable affordably as possible so this is literally the cheapest printer from walmart it was 37 dollars, and i think ink refills for this one is in the neighborhood of maybe 18 bucks for a black ink, ink cartridge and black ink is all i use for my uh business so I don't even purchase the color. It's, it's actually out of color ink. So it only takes, it only has the black ink cartridge in it. So 18 bucks ink refill. Um, the most expensive part of purchasing this printer when they, when you buy it from Walmart is the printer itself is like 17 bucks and the ink cartridge is maybe 18. So you're really only buying the ink when you buy the printer. So I've got one of the cheaper kitchen scales. It is a digital kitchen scale. It does the ounces, um, ounce grams and pounds so you will have to have one of these when you are shipping from home very easy to use you literally just turn it on make sure it zeroes out then set your stuff on top make sure you hit units and it says ounces um, so I'm going to print a label using my pirate ship I will do another training video on how to actually set up pirate ship create an account and you know how to use pirate ship itself this is directly just how to print a label using your already existing pirate ship account and a printer that is run off of Bluetooth. I will be using my iPad, which operates the same as my iPhone. So I usually use my iPhone. I'm not using my iPad most of the time. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to print a label. We're going to weigh the package, weigh the item with the package, print the label, and then I will package and label the item and have it ready to go out the door. I will let you observe how to do that. So I'm going to tilt my camera down and get you focused in on my desk instead of me because seeing half of me is not what you're here for. Okay, so first things first, we went over the, the printer itself. Now I want to discuss one thing. These you can pick up at Walmart. I order my labels on Amazon now. It is a lot cheaper. But to start out, until you get used to how to do everything and where to pick it up, you can pick these up at Walmart. It is two labels per sheet. You'll notice that is in the corner. Anytime you're looking to make things very simple when you're starting out, you will find the Avery brand in the office supplies at Walmart and look for the one that has two product, two labels per sheet. It'll say it right here, two labels per sheet. Um, that's the only ones, and it does say laser or inkjet here. Those are the only ones that I use from Walmart because the others are four labels, and it just doesn't print out correctly, and it doesn't it doesn't do right if you, in my opinion. So the two labels per sheet, I use the Avery brand um, just because I know that they're going to stick, they're going to stay on the package if I purchase from Walmart. Now the ones from Amazon are very well made too. So that's what we will have here. You take one sheet of the labels out of your print out of your package and you literally put it in however your printer prints mine prints face up so I put my labels in face up in the paper tray and then I will come to 
here and I will take my bubble mailer and my item that's gonna be shipped. I will turn my scale on, make sure it's zeroed out to zero ounces. I will lay it on there, let it weigh. That is 0 0.08 or 0 0.8 ounces. So I'll remember that in my head, keep track of that, 0 0.8 ounces. <clears throat> I will pull up my pirate ship, which I've prepared myself to do here. Create single label. And then I'll come down here and type in the person that I'm using. Then I'm gonna scroll past so you don't get their shipping information. And when you've already put their information in, it automatically, see how those boxes are blue? Those item, that person's information is already put in at that point. So you will scroll down where it you know, has your package options. You will change it to envelope, padded envelope. This is a six by nine. So you'll put six by nine. And it was point zero, point eight ounces. And at that point, you will scroll down, click get rates. It'll come up and have the information here. See, $2.84 to ship this package. I'll purchase the label. I will print that label. Click black and white, that way it only prints in black and white. Click print. The printer will start its process, of course. And there I have a shipping label ready to go. So I will peel that while the envelope is still empty. And this is very important. The package is still empty. There's nothing in it. I will lay my, peel my label, lay it on the front like so. I will take my item and because this is a padded mailer and there's not a lot to this, it is a very flat item, I will slip it down in the mailer. And I usually put a business card in here, but I don't have one on hand. Peel it, pull it down to where it's nice and flush with the package and then seal it. And see that makes it really, it's not completely watertight, but it is water resistant. And then I always write a little something extra on my packages. Just a little personal something. There you go. And that is how to print your own labels from home with your standard printer, which you most, most likely you already have. If not, they're 37 bucks at Walmart and using just, just the items you have around the house. You, these may be the two things that you'll have to purchase, a printer and a set of scales. And then, you know, of course your labels, which are very easy to find in Walmart. You can literally buy all three of these items at Walmart for probably 50 bucks. This kitchen scales, I think were eight ninety nine. And then the printer was 37 and I pay like seven bucks for these, six or seven bucks. Not bad at all. <clears throat> and that's, that's the gist of it. Oh, and one quick thing, you know, we printed the label the first time with the label down. So when it prints out, you still have a second one on here. If you don't use it immediately, you can save it after peeling the bottom off. Just don't rip this off yet. Peel that one off and save this. If you're going to reuse it, you literally turn it up and put the the fresh label in first, put it in the printer first, and then just go back through your print cycle. And you can use both labels on that sheet that way. Very simple process, very easy to do. If you're interested in joining my team with Paparazzi, you can go to www.paparazziaccessories.com forward slash rugged rhinestone and join our team. If you would like, you can like and follow our business page at www.facebook.com forward slash rugged rhinestone. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and I hope this training was informative. Have a good day.